Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In this series, we're gonna be covering Webpack. We're gonna be talking about what it is, why it's useful, and how to set up a basic Webpack configuration. So first let's talk about what it is. Webpack is a web application bundler. But before we can really understand what that means, we should talk about performance on your website. The slowest thing that happens on your website is when you make an HTTP request. It usually takes a couple hundred milliseconds to reach out over the network and grab whatever resource that you're requesting. So imagine if you had a bunch of JavaScript files referenced by script tags in the head of your website. You're going to have to make an HTTP request for each one of those scripts. This is where Webpack comes in. Webpack bundles all of those separate JavaScript files into a single file. So that means you only have to make one network request to download your JavaScript. This will make your website faster. So at its core, Webpack is a bundler for JavaScript, but it also does a whole lot more. It has this notion of loaders where instead of just JavaScript, it can actually bundle many different types of files like CSS, SAS, less images like JPEGs and pings, SVGs, even TypeScript or JSX with React. And it also has a really great plugin ecosystem where you can do whatever you'd like at any point during the Webpack build process. So that's what Webpack is, a bundler for web applications. In the coming videos, I'll walk you through how to set up and configure Webpack to bundle your application. See you there.